In this video, we are going to estimate sums and differences. Now, estimation means to find a close answer. So it doesn't just mean round. It means we actually have to find an answer. So words that remind us to estimate include about, approximately, around, close. I would say in most word problems, I've seen the words about and approximately. Now I have example number one here, 567 plus 234. What we're not going to do is we're not going to add the numbers and then round. Okay, we're going to round first. So now the question is, since both of these numbers have a ones place, a tens place, and a hundreds place, to which place are we going to round? Well, if the directions are specific and tell us to round to the tens place, then we would round to the tens place. But sometimes they don't tell us. So if they don't tell me, I'm going to go to the greatest place. Okay, it's going to be nice and simple and we're going to get a bunch of zeros. So we are going to round 567. So, it's 500, I look to the 6, or I look to the 67, and I ask myself, is that 50 or more? Well, it's more. So, I am going to round 567 up to 600. Next, I'm going to look at 234. It's rounding to the hundreds place, 200, so I look to the 3, or I look to the 34, and I ask myself, is that 50 and higher, or is that less than 50? It's less than 50, so this number is closer to 200 than it is 300. And now the last step is simply to add. If this was a subtraction problem, all of the steps would be exactly the same, but I would subtract in the end. So let's do another example. You can see that these two numbers have a ones place and a tens place. They don't have a hundreds place. So we have to figure out where to round. Keeping in mind, of course, we don't solve the problem first. We need to round. Well, we can't round to the ones place because you just don't do that unless you have decimal numbers. We could round it both to the tens place. I'm not going to round to the hundreds place because both numbers don't have a hundreds place. So when adding and subtracting, I'm going to round to the same place. So let's round to the tens place. 748, we're going to round the 40, so we're going to look to the 8 and ask ourselves, is, is, is the 8 5 or more? Is 48 closer to 50? Or is the 8 less than 5? and 48 is closer to 40. Well, 48 is definitely closer to 50, so we're going to call this 750. 51, we'll look to the 1. Is that 5 or more? No, it's definitely less than 5, so 51 is definitely closer to 50 than it is 60. And now we just need to add these two numbers together. We'll get 800. If it was subtraction, we'd get 700. So the first thing I want you to remember when estimating sums and differences is to round the numbers first and then solve the problem. Round first. And secondly, round both numbers to the same place. When we are estimating sums and differences, we round both numbers to the same place.